The Soviet Union World Police Volunteer Only Challenge. That's right. We're not going to actually declare war. All we're going to do is help out everyone else's wars. Help, assist, threaten, exploit other wars. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Soviet Union has become the Red World Police. The worst timeline, Mr. Stalin. Time to execute the greatest police force possible. This video is sponsored by Feedback Gaming. Me! Check out my second channel, Feedback IRL. Here you'll get access to reaction videos, guides, as well as loads of other Hoi4 content. Click on this in the top right. We need XP, so grab the entirety of your army, garrison order, move them all to here, exercise indefinitely, and change it over to the smallest division. We have to get rid of the NKVD ones, because those ones won't change. And scroll, and change it to the horse. Four horse. Boom. Change. Exercise. Off you go. First of all, we are going to research tactical bombers. Remember, we're going to be using volunteers. So we want every single plane that we send to have the largest possible impact. Cass, unfortunately, will not cut it. So tactical bombers is the way forward. Industry is going to go a long way. And of course, classic, just build civs in all the high infrastructure regions. Stalin, the center. Do you know what Stalin loves? Heavy metal. Heavy industry, it is. We're going to ignore paranoia because I don't think it's a big deal. Will there be consequences? We'll see. Love a little bit of uh, artillery, the rest into tacticals. Don't need any light tanks for now. And the rest looks good enough for me. Versions boils up and exercise indefinitely. Let's go. The first thing we're going to do is send volunteers to Ethiopia. Do you guys always forget about the Ethiopia war? I always do. Not today, lads. We can send 20 bombers. I'm not going to lie, that's not very high, but it's going to have to do. Bombs away, chaps. And we'll set that to 1,000. And as our air force gets bigger, we'll assign more and more bombers there and hopefully do more damage. Will it make any real impact? No, but we are going to grind a little bit of XP. And who can't complain about XP, right? Ooh, look at these juicy bonuses to planes. We'll definitely be taking advantage of that. Transpolar flights. To the North Pole! Unlikely to go that far, but we'll see. Can we send some actual volunteers? We can send two divisions. Two divisions? Yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can stall the Italians. Boyos have arrived. Give them a decent defensive general and a defensive field marshal. Pop them right about here. Stall, gentlemen. Transpolar flights have been activated and we can now go for centralized control. More mission efficiency. Expand the aircraft industry. Another opportunity. More volunteers. We will bury them. Hey, it's an exploit video. Feedback gaming for a change. That's right. We're going to rush engineer too. Why? Oh, you will see. Air crew surveys make doctrines cheaper. Yes. What doctrine party think we're going to do? Hmm. Mobilize the economy. Get that industry rolling. Ethiopia. Rip. Just a minor speed bump. We got bigger fish to fry right about here. Operation integrity to get those bonus for tactical bombers, which gives us access to material destruction, which allows us to make more up-to-date tactical bombers significantly cheaper, 75% cheaper. Need a little bit of help, Republican Spain? Have, nah, 20,000. I was gonna go with 10, but nah, 20. Once, go. Exercising the Navy, practically doing nothing, gaining free XP, broken, and uh, gaining air experience, way too much. It's like war doesn't even matter. What a mess. Volunteers to China. Oh yeah, that's right. Some air wings are coming. Here comes the boys. Material destruction enabled. Tactical bomber one. Release the bomb. Reliable engine two and range. You know what? The whole thing. Everything. Oh no! Republican Spain. This is a tiny little pocket. It's not going to stop us from doing the bombing though, is it? Nope. Keep going, lads. Doing a fine job. Another theater closes and another one opens. Japan, I don't think you're ever going to break this. Give it up, boys. Unlock the air doctrines. We're practically going to max this out before any major conflict happens. <laughs> I love it. And purges. Ooh. Yeah, we've had a few of those. All right, we're going to need loads of soft attack. We're going to need nice, hard tanks. And ooh, Engineer 2. Almost done. Okay, Engineer 2 is complete. You know what that means? That's right, the flamer. Soon. Heavy flame tonk. Here we come. Into war. Heavy tank chassis. The flame. One man turret. That's right, I just don't care anymore. Welded armor. Gasoline engine. As much armor as we can fit onto it. That's quite a lot. And the classic. Sloped armor. Skirts storage, ammunition storage, and enough speed to make it actually move. Too expensive. 
Okay, we have to take off slope, sloped armor. Yeah, that is doable now. 33. Give it a uh, cool image. That one will do just fine. Look at this beast. Armor. That's what I like to see. Okay, let's do whatever we can do to gain a tiny little bit of stability now. Women. That's right. 10% stability. This is the one time I hit promises of peace and I actually do promise peace. Fight the wars over there, but so we don't have to fight them here. That old drill. There we go. Maxed out air doctrines. Maxed out tactical bomber one and uh, maxed out air cores. February 1939. Nice. This looks pretty good. This will be the division I'll use. Make this elite. Add on the heavy flamer. 14 armor. That's very nice. Break off at least 18 of you boyos. Pop you here and make them into this division and exercise them up. Well, who would have known, eh? Stalin is the path that gives stability. Something isn't quite right about that. Whoa. What is it good for? Volunteers. So we can send seven volunteers. So that's exactly how many we're going to send. Seven and air volunteers. Boom, off you go. And also the United Kingdom, which is also part of the Allies, which is also at war with the German Reich. We can send seven volunteers. So that's exactly what we'll do. We'll split off seven. Seven volunteers with air volunteers. Oh, who else is in the Allies? That's right. It's Canada. Volunteers. How many can we send? Seven of those. You see where this is going, right? Send volunteers, seven of them with air volunteers. South Africa volunteers. How many can we send? Three. And we will send exactly three with air volunteers. Well, I don't mind if I do. Who else? Australia. Air volunteers. Six divisions. Boom, off you go. New Zealand. Three divisions. One, two, three. New Zealand. It is. Here we go. Three of the boyos. Four of the boyos. Five of the boyos have all joined up. Now, this is incredibly messy because now we have to move all the troops over to here one by one by one and they all have to be on separate armies and separate theaters yeah this is not for the faint of heart this is pretty messy and then send over the air volunteers too how thick is your front line very thick here they come commence the bombings using a lot of tactical bombers, but I can hold. And uh, surprisingly, they're not making a lot of gains in the lowlands too. Belgium's holding on. Is it because of the air force? Is the tactical bombers making this much damage? It can't be. They have 2,000 fires. But on the other hand, uh, we seem to be holding the Belgium. I see no issues standing behind the Belgian border though. We will wait. Best performance in Poland. Worst performance in the lowlands ever. Okay, time to make some military factories. Boom. There we go. So if you haven't figured it out yet, light recon tanks have been nerfed to death, so they're practically useless. And now we have the ultimate flame tank, which adds 13 armor on, which is a suitable replacement to the light tank recon. So you're probably wondering what's the exploit, what's going on. So light tank recon has been nerfed to death, so you can't do it anymore. Here's the replacement, the heavy flame tank support company, which is great because flame tanks are awesome. We get lots of terrain buffs, but on top of it, they have really, really decent armor. So why not stack the armor and why not add it onto our division? And then on the division you get a lovely 13 armor anything more than 10 armor is worthwhile so go nuts tactical bomber number two maxed out hang on design is too expensive what what, 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 what? Oh, we've switched off. Okay, we go back to material destruction. And there we go, 175. Think about that for a second. 700 XP, it costs, which you can never afford because you can never bank more than 500 to a reduction of 175. That's just stupid. Ah, but it's doable and it's been done. GG, the strongest Belgium and sneaky naval invasion from the UK. Nice try. Ah, collapsing front lines. Yeah, that's not what I want. Okay, let's just draw them again. There we go. One, two. Tell me this isn't tedious without saying this is tedious. I think this speaks for itself. I feel like I'm drawing the uh, LGBT colors. Where's the offensive going? Some way that away. Oh God, this looks like a YouTube thumbnail. Ugh. Going in for the kill and... Okay, they are actually piercing them because they actually have decent equipment. Oh, no, no, these ones are getting pissed. And no, add on the logistics. Right, are you ready to see the ultimate heavy flame tank? The ultimate. So the improved heavy tank chassis is the best one because it works out the cheapest. But the heavy three gets just a little bit too expensive. So heavy turret, three man, loads of breakthrough. Of course, it has to have a flamer. Of course, it's going to have interweaved road wheels. That's a tongue twister. Welded armor, of course, and gasoline. And how much armor? Just all of it. And then we can add on sloped skirts, ammo, and then fast enough to actually move. Here it is, this baby. God, the model, the 3D model is absolutely grotesque. Have we got a better one? Oh, there we go. Doesn't look like a flamethrower though. Just use your imagination. 60 breakthrough and 161 armor. Ah, oh, it's just juicy, juicy. 
commence logistic strikes. Usually the weak spot of France, if they can't break through the north, is through the Alps on this side. So what I'm going to do is completely decimate the Italian railways and therefore they'll never have any supply anyway. By the looks of things, yeah, it's happening. We're bombing them and they don't care. They're not stopping us. You plan on stopping us? No. <laughs> Just don't care. Hey, grand battle plan. How lame is that, right? Dave's doing grand battle plan as the Soviet Union. But remember, remember, we're the world police, okay? This is the most wonkiest alt time line. France is doing dumb shit like leaving the front line open. <sighs> This is why we can't have nice things. Good old Stalin. Such a good boy. Promising peace of the world. Pacifist Stalin, aka World Police, aka secretly spreading communism. Oh, I've forgotten someone. British Malaya. Send volunteers. We can send three. Send. Oh, Dutch East Indies. Can send seven. Off you go. British Raj. I totally forgot about the British Raj. Okay, we have to train a bunch more troops. Seven more. Off you go. I've actually got a scroll wheel for my theatres. It's the very first time I've ever seen that. What theatres? All of them. Logistics. Theater training and um, army corps. This one's pretty good if you're not the Soviet Union because it practically gives unlimited manpower. But not today because the supplies are coming from the countries that I asked for the volunteers from. It's causing really strange supply problems. So you, there's a port in France, but we're going to the Raj and then setting a point from the Soviet Union to the Raj to France and it's low supply. Ugh, man, volunteers need a rework. Everything needs a rework. Southern Front, go, go. Yeah, this is uh, incredibly difficult to organize when they're all separate armies. Well, that didn't work. Yay, the purge is over, <laughs> kind of. And ooh, ooh, uh, what a mess. America. Seven volunteers. And there was more. I realize I've spiked world tension quite a lot from sending volunteers. No, never mind. <laughs> no, never mind. I was expecting to see myself in this list like a hundred times, but no. Germany's still the bad guy. This is the beauty of a logistics strike. So for the most part, when you look on the map, it's kind of hard to make out what impact you're having. You can click here, then you can see, oh, I can see some railways have been damaged there, there, and some infrastructure. And then you press F4 for the supply map mode. You see these F X's here, this indicates that the supply here has been disrupted. As you can see here, it's pretty bad. It's also getting a bit crappy here as well. And you can see, if you look at the Italian army, look at all this red logistics problems everywhere. Ah, look at this propaganda of the Soviet Union. Propaganda of peace. This guy, like, worker, and this guy with the fist, and this lady with the wheats. Soviet Union growing the finest of breads. Peaceful. This is a bright future for Soviet Russia. <laughs> Look at the arrows. That looks awful. I want to let you know, guys, this is an awful strategy as well. Because if you click here, you have to like click individually for each army to assign a general, assign the traits individually and do motorization individually, attack and assign the front lines one by one. And we have like seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Oh, so many armies. Yeah, this is... Uh this is a cool novelty, but my God, this is a micromanagement nightmare. Oh dear. Ah, this is my favorite poster. Under the leadership of peaceful Stalin. That's what exactly that translates to. Fact. The final grip of Trotsky's legacy has been undone. Well, kind of, 22 days. And then, uh, well, I think the game might be undone. Netherlands, strong. Oh my God, look at all these medium tanks by the UK. British tank, strong. This is pretty funny too. We've caused like practically no world tension, just a tiny amount from sending volunteers and look at the amount of people trading with us steel tungsten aluminium and loads of oil look at all the oil going to japan 72 oil you know in a roundabout kind of way we're kind of fueling their war effort here yeah. fueling someone else's war huh? yeah 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 with with fuel yeah get it commence railway bombing of the lowlands the supply is going to get really low now, and then a counterattack is going to be deadly. Just need to wait for their low supply signs, and then I'm gone. Okay, I've just thought of another strategy. Instead of making this narrow front line to go around the west wall, what if I just go through the west wall? You guys go here, and also strategically bomb, and hit forts. So initially hitting the forts, I was doing no damage. Now I've just turned on railways. Wow, look at the damage. We're hitting loads of railway guns. And look at the yellow. So many railway lines have been severed. Do we sit here and wait? Or do we click one billion times to activate all of our battle plans and actually do something? Ugh. Uh, this is going to take forever. Fly, my pretties. Why are you not attacking through the West Wall? Well, I can't complain because we're actually making some impact and we're breaking them. So there you go. Does actually work. And they're not piercing our super heavy flame tanks. <laughs> It works just as well as I hoped. Good. Now focus really closely on the lines. Look at them. Look at the arrows. 
works on thumbnails, so I presume you guys are all mashing and clicking your button on the screen right now. AI's like, let's not push our front lines. Let's just make a, a D-Day here, here. <laughs> <laughs> and also in Poland. Yes, attack anywhere but the front line. I'm going to have to do that now. It's a tough job, but someone's going to do it. Off you go. Spoke too soon. One here and snaking. And then another one here. Can't get enough of them. Where is the front line? Everywhere. I've reached the point that our production is so unbelievably high right now. I have uh, a full list of production on civilians uh, with a total of 433. That's right. The new superpower. Move over United States. 180. Pfft. Nothing. Four, three, two. Vienna. Whoosh. Boom. The Treaty of Breslau. And still at war? Is the war not over in Europe? It is. I've not got my volunteers back. Does that mean I have to continue their wars elsewhere? Hang on a minute. I only signed up for the war in Europe. So I have to keep my volunteers here? What the? Uh, never mind. is not like this is going to be a problem for much longer. China, Japan, white peace. Korea. An intact Korea. And, uh... Japan just doesn't care about defending its homeland. Okay. GG. It's really strange not being involved in the peace conference in any way. The AI just sorted it out. It's like the opposite of player-led peace conferences. AI-led peace conferences. Nothing good can come of that. But this is actually pretty good. No border go. Beautiful, clean borders. Independent Mariana Federation. Independent Federation of Micronesia. And a democracy in Japan. And all my volunteers have returned home. There we go, guys. It runs the Soviet Union at peace. Never go to war. The world police. Uh, shame I can't say the same about the borders in Europe. Ugh. Everyone who loved this video also loved this one. Give it a click.